So I want to show you another powerful way you can use masks. I've got two images over here, one of a, a beach. I thought this was kind of plain, but I liked this uh, water edge right here. So I didn't really like the background at all. So what I wanted was something more interesting, something with some islands, something like that. So I found this. However, it doesn't have like the water edge that I'm looking for. So how could I do, how could I combine both of these? Well, I could just use a mask and then use my brush tool and brush that out. Or I could use a gradient mask. And gradient masks are extremely helpful. Uh, you can add a color and then mask out a portion of a color. Uh, the way it works is you create your mask just like you do normally when you're going to use the brush. But instead of using a brush here, I'm going to use a, uh, a linear gradient, which is this very first one here. What that does is it's just going to make a gradient over the entire area from whatever color you choose to transparent. That's what I have selected here. I've got foreground to transparent selected. So now if I come over here and I click and drag to, let's say about right here, what's going to happen is it's going to hide the front part of my image. It's going to put the colors of this guy in there and uh, you'll have all of that plus you'll have this cool little island out here. So what I would do at that point is then just crop my image, 